a letter of the bell. D. D is for dysfunctional, disturbing, decomposition. What's up everybody, my name is Brad and welcome back to the channel. Today we're back at it with another book review and today I'm going to be discussing Maggot Screaming. <laughs> they did it again, they really like to scream. Maybe I shouldn't say the title anymore, I think that evokes their spirit. If so, I'll just try to whisper it. Uh, today we're here to talk about Maggot Screaming by Max Booth III. Hopefully they didn't hear me at that time. But as the intro said, the letter of the day, this video is sponsored by the letter D for dysfunctional, disturbing, and decomposition. This book is full of all three of those things, but mainly this book can be summed up by the word dysfunctional. Everything about this book is dysfunctional. We have dysfunctional marriage, dysfunctional friendship, a dysfunctional body farm operated by an even more dysfunctional anthropologist. I can keep going on and on about all the different types of dysfunctional elements for this book. Right from the very beginning, any sense of normalcy is thrown just way out the window. You know, the more pages I turn while reading Maggot Screaming, the more outlandish things became in the absolute best way possible. I don't know if you're a fan of The Simpsons. I grew up watching a lot of The Simpsons as a kid, and some of my favorite episodes of that show were when October would roll around, Halloween would roll around, and they would do the Treehouse of Horror special. They were some of the most outlandish, crazy, off-the-wall, uh, graphically violent for cartoon episodes that you would find, especially on network TV. And this entire book, it feels like a big, long, extended episode of a Treehouse of Horror special from The Simpsons, which coincidentally or not, are one of our main characters, Dylan, and his dad, Max. They are huge fans of The Simpsons as well, and there's a lot of Simpsons jokes, um, and they actually watch, binge watch, a lot of The Simpsons during the book which just is kind of funny, but that's what it felt like. The whole book felt like an episode of the Treehouse of Horror. So with that being said, if you are a fan of horror that is solely based in reality that you can make some sort of sense of, get some sort of logical explanation from, then this book, it's not for you. You're definitely in the wrong place. You'd be better off going out into your backyard, digging a hole in your dead garden than you would be reading this book. And really nothing about this book makes any sort of sense, and that's okay because it doesn't need to. The why behind what is going on really isn't that important. It doesn't really need to be explained. It doesn't really need to be justified. It's all about the journey that counts. I know that's cliche, but it's all about the journey with this book. All we need to know as the readers is that something bizarre is happening, something grotesque is happening, something unexplainable is happening, and we the readers were along for the ride, this wild ride with these characters as they have to learn to cope with this new, bizarre, strange situation they find themselves in and having to deal with the consequences from that. The best part, and I mean the absolutely best part of maggot screaming. I think we're good. I don't think they heard us that time. Were the comedic moments. And I mean, for me, I don't know what it says about my maturity level or my sense of humor, but I mean laugh out loud funny moments for me while I was reading this book. And most of that came through the dialogue. Although there was this one scene that dealt with human flatulence that just had me cackling immaturely like I was back in high school. But the dialogue was not only funny, but it was also natural and felt realistic. And for me, those were the best two parts, the comedy and the dialogue. A lot of times in books, the dialogue can feel stilted. It can feel unnatural, um, not the way people would talk in those situations. And that was absolutely not the case with this book. Max Booth the third, he can truly write some uh, compelling, hilarious and just natural feeling dialogue and that with mixed with the comedy were some of the best parts for me uh, the back and forth banter between max the dad and his ex-best friend andy were just moments of comedy gold and i think andy was probably my favorite character in the book he's sort of this wacko conspiracy theory kind of guy um, just kind of off the wall weird and strange but he was absolutely downright hilarious and he made the book for me in my opinion. But this book, it's not all fart jokes though. Although the fart jokes in here are absolutely hilarious. Um, if you have a bit of a weak stomach, this book might not be for you. It might cause you to turn a bit green around the gills. I believe that is a saying. Uh, fans of body horror will have a lot to sink their teeth into with this one. 
Yeah, I'm looking at you, comrade. I got my eyes on you, man. From bodily decomposition to the purging of bodily fluids to flesh-eating insects and basically everything in between, Max Booth III, he gives us this educational crash course on the different stages of human decomposition in all of its putrid, gnarly detail. And I didn't realize this at the beginning of the book when I started reading it, but the book is broken up into different parts, and each part is named after a different stage of human decomposition, which I thought was really choice, really perfect for this type of book. Maggot screaming. <laughs> Dang it, I forgot to whisper it. They're still listening in. Maggot Screaming by Max Booth III is a kaleidoscopic journey of absolute lunacy. It's absurd, it's meta, it's disgusting, it's brash, it's unapologetically hilarious. And yes, of course, it is dysfunctional. It's a perfect concoction of gross out body horror mixed with comedy. This was my first time ever reading anything from Max Booth III, and I was not disappointed at all. I definitely cannot wait to pick up more of his work here in the near future. But before I leave you all, before I end the review, I want to leave you with a bit of a word of warning that relates to the book. So the next time you're outside and you're under that hot, glaring sun, it's bearing down on you, and you're digging around in your garden, just, just be careful because you never know what you might dig up. But that's it. That's been my review for Maggot Screaming, I think we're safe to say it now, by Max Booth III. Um, I gave it four and a half stars. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was the funniest book I've read in quite a long time. Um, it should be out soon from Ghoulish Books. I think it comes out April 12th. Uh, so you might be watching this before, you might be watching it after, but it should be out April 12th, 2022. I highly suggest you go pick it up, especially if you want a really funny, horrific read. Well, that's it. That's all I have for you guys today. So thank you for spending your time with me. Again, my name is Brad, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.